Hey everyone, Nick Sabi back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. In today's video, what I want to do is talk about a terminology that is very well utilized within the commercial real estate space, especially if you are in the retail sector. And that is, what exactly is an anchor tenant? So in today's video, we're going to define what an anchor tenant is, and then one of the benefits of having one in your center or, or retail space. Now, before we dive in this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you can like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now you've done that, go ahead and like and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and dive into this episode. All right, so the question is, what exactly is an anchor tenant? Well, an anchor tenant is also sometimes known as a, a, a draw tenant. Essentially what it is, is it's uh, typically the largest tenant on, in, on, the, on the premises for the, the multi-tenant center that draws in traffic to the establishments or the, 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 the building as a whole. So, you know, you can imagine an anchor tenant being like a grocery store chain, like a Kroger or Safeway or Publix, et cetera. So you would have a, let's say, 100 square, 1,000 square foot center. The 50,000 square foot tenant would be, let's say, a Kroger. People go to Kroger every single day to pick up groceries and whatever else. So you have a significant amount of traffic being driven to that, that particular tenant. And that obviously benefits the other tenants that are in that little strip. So, you know, typically what ends up happening with anchor tenants is that usually if, uh, afford them, you know, uh, pretty reasonable rents. And, and, and especially if they're like a caliber of a Kroger or Walmart or something else, you would typically incentivize them to lease the space. And you may not make a fortune off the anchor tenant per se as, you know, as, you know, uh, as an owner, but because of the traffic that's drawn from that anchor tenant, now you can make up, uh, you know, some of the rents for the other, the, the adjacent tenants, um, the ones that kind of shadow tenants uh, in, in this particular case. So let's say that you you rent the, the space to a Kroger for 10 bucks a square foot, uh, triple net. So they're, they're, they're occupying 50,000 square feet. And then now you have 50,000 square foot of space um, adjacent to Kroger that may comprise of, you know, some 2,500 square foot spaces, maybe a 5,000 square foot space, maybe you know, a couple 1,500 square foot spaces. And now you can charge higher rents, maybe 20, 30, $40 a square foot uh, to those tenants because of the value of being that close to a Kroger. Um, and so that's usually the benefit of having an anchor tenant, especially one where uh, it does drive a significant amount of traffic is that, you know, you can charge more rent as a result of them being on the site when it comes to the other tenants in, on the premises, because everyone, a lot of retail uses like to be close to those types of uses. So um, hopefully you gain some value from this video. At least now you understand what an anchor tenant is. And if you're going through the process of recruiting or trying to find an anchor tenant for your center, you know, you typically are going to want to look for uh, uses where there's going to be a high level of traffic that is driven to the center. You know, depending on what type of, of anchor tenant it is, you may, you know, target certain ones depending on what type of clientele you want to attract to the center. Um, so those are just part of the things you need to think of as you're looking to identify those types of uh, tenants for your particular center. Uh, additionally, if you have an anchor tenant in place, you know, you can strategize about what adjacent tenants may be uh, the best suited for, you know, being close to that particular anchor tenant. And then you go out there and try to find those opportunities in the marketplace. So hope you gain some value from this video. Uh, you know, if you like this channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you can like and subscribe. It really does make a difference with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more, more people can hear this message. If you're in the Louisville market and you're looking to secure lease space, at a retail center that does have an anchor tenant, or maybe you're an anchor tenant searching for, uh, you know, the spaces to make a footprint here in the Louisville metro area. Love to be able to help you out. I do specialize a lot in the retail space, so I'd be happy to, uh, you know, provide my expertise in that, in that fashion. If that's the case for you, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 502-536-7315, or you can reach me via email at rafaelgrasakigroup.com. Thanks again for, so much for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.